Welcome to another episode of KJ Tech Vlogs. My name is Kareem and I'm back with another video. It feels so good to be holding this rig up. It's been a while. I'm sorry. I, um, I've never really clarified in the vlogs where I work or who I work for. I mean, I'm sure in a couple videos you guys have seen my work shirts, but never really addressed that. So as of today, I work for a car dealership called Hayes Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Lawrenceville. And I'm a professional car salesman um, or a sales professional. And yeah, so today is Thursday, my day off, and I've got some custom headlights for my new Civic. Um, we're going to go get those installed, and then we are going to be unboxing this bad boy, Series 3, but it is Nike Edition. Oop, Nike Edition, right there. And then, then you guys remember my Hyundai Genesis, we're going to go get rid of that today. We're going to drop it off in a different town and have them sell it for us at another dealership. And I uh, just got a couple of errands to run today on my day off. It feels good not to work. Um, so I'm going to take you guys with me. So let's hit the road. Atlanta traffic is like no other. You can't find it anywhere else. It's one of a kind, but it's horrible. I, I, I hate it. Like, I've been on this. I haven't passed one exit in like 10 minutes. Traffic for no reason. I bet some idiots crashed or something. I mean, this sucks. I'm just trying to get to where I want to be. And I keep having to stop. Do you see what I mean? Every five seconds I have to stop. Like, this is insane. Come on, Georgia, we gotta stop this. Learn how to drive, people. This is what my new headlights look like. And this is what my old ones look like. Okay, so two hours later, the new headlights are installed. Here's what they look like before. And here's what they look like after. Beautiful, right? Big difference. And now, as I said, we're going to go get rid of my Hyundai Genesis. We're going to go pick it up and take it to Marietta, have them sell it. And in that process, we're going to unbox the Apple Watch Series 3 Nike. So let that, blah, 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 let's get this thing going. Okay, so I just got home. Um, headlight job is done. Now I'm in front of my old car and my new car. This is staying, this is leaving. Let's do this. In my Genesis right now, we are eight minutes away from this dealer that I'm gonna drop my car off to. This car is so fast. Um, I don't regret getting rid of it at all. I really don't, but uh, it's very, very fast. That's the cool part about it, but uh, I can't wait to get this thing taken care of. It's been on my to-do list for a while, but today I finally got time, so. And really, I hesitated about going and procrastinated because there's so much traffic on the way here. It's not worth it, worth my time, but I need to get it done, so. I'm on my way. Ooh, yep, people can't drive. She just cut me off. But yeah, I'll uh, see you when I'm saying goodbye to this car. So as soon as we get here, I see this vehicle. Look at this. Man. So for those of you who don't know, my dream car is a Nissan GTR, and I'm standing in front of a Nissan. So we are done. We uh, we are leaving the car here. Thank you, Genesis, for being such a great car to me. Peace.
Okay, so now I am back in my Civic. Very happy to be back in my new car. <sighs> gonna go over to my girlfriend's house. And um, after that, we're gonna unbox this Apple Watch. So thank you guys for sticking with me for the entire video. Let's get to this watch. So I'm back home now. I didn't necessarily go straight to my girlfriend's house. I went there, we went and grabbed some Chick-fil-A, we went straight to Bible study. We had a great time, learned a lot of new things and good things. Um, back now, it's about 12.55 a.m., but I'm still gonna go ahead and unbox the Apple Watch for you guys, as I promised. That's why I have great lighting on, so let's get, let's get into it. Let's do this. So as you see, the box looks different um, compared to the Series 3 unboxing I did that wasn't the Nike edition. And that is because this is the new sport loop band in here and apparently they can't flat it out. So they have to put in a square sized box, um, which I guess we'll see exactly why when we open it because of the design and cosmetics, I guess. Um, to me, it doesn't make no, any sense, but I guess we'll see that when we open it. Okay. Open. There you go. I see. That's why. So apparently they can't flat flatten this out, huh? What do they put the face right there or something? Wrapped up inside the band, outside and inside the, on top of the face. It's a Velcro. So there you go. I'm guessing you just rip that off. Ooh, that is gorgeous. New Apple watches are so nice. And inside the box you have standard, just a holder where the watch face went. Um, paperwork, paperwork about Nike Plus and Apple. How to take the band off. Then your charger and your cube. So once we put all that aside, you have... The watch itself is pretty nice. Let's see if um, this one has battery. I know the other one did. Um, this one does have battery. So let's see exactly how comfortable this band really is, okay? Keep that there. Huh. Yeah, I gotta give it to Apple. They um, they did this one pretty well. This is actually very comfortable, and how everybody says it in their videos, very breathable. This is, you know, when you hear something like that on a review, and you just you just think oh, I have to see it to believe it. But no, this is. This is actually very comfortable. I think the Velcro could have been some magnets in here. Granted, it would have made the bend a little heavier, but at the end of the day, Apple does what they do. And blah, blah, blah. Apple does what they like doing best, which is making things perfect. And um, this is this is pretty perfect. I, I I can't lie. Very very comfortable. So once a watch turns on, like so. Oh, still doing that. There you go. Pair, well, it says in a different language. Hmm. Bring iPhone near Apple Watch. So let's bring my iPhone. So we open up the Apple Watch app and start pairing. Okay. Let's get this done. See how quick it is. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. And it vibrated at two and a half. Recover from backup. Which one? I've had. Three. What's the latest? This one's the latest. Let's do this. Low battery. That's fine. Let's connect this Apple Watch. It has a green green look to it. I'm not too sure if the other one had it. Um, I, I believe it was a uh, blue look. But um, let's see how long this takes. Agree. Agree. Skip this step. Skip. Don't share. Okay. Um, don't add passcode. D yeah, so it gives you an option and asks you, are we running today? Now, they're promoting the health and fitness factor of this by making the watch Nike Plus. As you know, Apple Watch is a very reputable watch as far as reputable watch as far as health and how they Apple's wanting the world to be healthier. So that's why this watch is number one watch in the world as far as smart watches. And integrating Nike Plus into the watch just makes it a better better deal to more of an incentive to go get the watch. Like right here, are you running today? I don't run personally, but um we can go ahead and download that app just to see how well it works. Install. Done. Download the app. 
um, continue I already know this stuff now mm -hmm. Apple watch is syncing as you see right there and focus pretty breathable I really like this and of course I got the cellular and if you want to see the unboxing this compared to the regular Apple watch without Nike plus you can check that out it's um one of my more, more recent videos, so I'll put the link uh, in the description for that video below. Something really annoying I noticed with Apple, and it's kind of surprising that they would limit um, certain colors to specific uh, software and watches. If you go to Apple, uh, go to shop and press Apple Watch Nike Plus, you can only get the freaking watch in space gray or aluminum. There's no rose gold, there's no gold, any other color that you could think of, stainless steel, it's not here. It's just silver or black, GPS or GPS plus cellular. That's it. Apple, I don't know why you're limiting us to just getting these colors. Um, there better be a good reason for it because that's kind of pointless. That that. What if a color was a deal breaker for a customer? Then what would you do, right? Like, let's say I wanted the gold color, but... Um, I need Nike Plus. How does that work for the customer? Like, come on, accommodate to what people want, right? Am I wrong for thinking that? Comment in the comment section below if you think I'm wrong. I mean, really, it's Apple, for God's sakes. So the watch is still pairing up. You're about, let's see, if you can see that. It's like halfway. It's right there, so. Right there now. I'll be back when this is done. I was across the room. Only way I knew that it was done because it vibrated but while the camera was off I saw a couple of cosmetic differences in series 3 on the band it says right here Apple Watch Nike Plus and what I also noticed that's very inconvenient Apple doesn't want you to take this out look at this I can't I can't I can't I'm literally you can't and I just tried my hardest you have to put your finger in the groove and just take it out that way Literally, you can't, oh, that is so freaking inconvenient. Like, are you serious? Why am I not able to take this off? That, yeah, that, that thing should be smaller than the insert. Personally, that's what I think, but whatever. On the back, it says Apple Watch. Let's see if you can read that. Apple Watch Series 3, Nike Plus, Apple Watch LTE, GPS what does that say 10 n dash x glass aluminum case 42 millimeter it's really about the same amazing little watch but you know high dollar watch definitely a high dollar watch but hey some people are willing to pay the price for what this watch can do to your life and I agree this is a great watch and it just switched itself to Buzz Lightyear so that's kind of weird, but okay. So that pretty much wraps it up for this video, guys. If you enjoyed my vlog and enjoyed watching this and thought it was pretty cool, hit the like button down there. Guys, subscribe here if you're already not subscribed. Here's my latest video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, Woody is on the screen now. And until next time, I'm out.